State your name and profession. Assalamu alaikum. Yes. My name is Afroz Vasaya. I am a manager in a private limited company. I would like to put one question. It is a common belief of all the religion that uh, God can do everything. Then why can't he become human being? The brothers posed the question that all the religions believe that God can do anything and everything. So why can't he become a human being? Most of the religions beside Islam, they believe in a philosophy known as anthropomorphism. That the Almighty God, He takes human forms. And they believe in the philosophy that Almighty God is so holy, He doesn't know the shortcomings of human beings. How will a human being feel when he's hurt? How will a human being feel when he's in trouble or in problem? So Almighty God has come down in this world and become a human being to set the rules for the human being. On the face of it, it's a very good logic. But I tell these people that suppose I manufacture a VCR. Do I have to become a VCR to know what is good or what is bad for the VCR? Since I'm the creator, I don't have to become a VCR. I just write an instruction manual that if you want to play the VCR video cassette recorder, put in the video cassette and press the play button. If you want to fast forward, press the FF button. If you want to stop, press the stop button. Don't drop it from a height, it will get spoiled. Don't immerse it in water, it will get damaged. I'll write an instruction manual. Similarly, Almighty God, since He is the creator of the human beings, He does not have to become a human being to know what is good or what is bad for the human being. What does He do? He chooses a man amongst men. And He reveals the revelation. And the last and final revelation for the human beings, it is the glorious Quran. The do's and don'ts. If I agree with you for sake of argument that Almighty God can do anything and everything, so why can't He become a human being? If I agree with you for sake of argument that God can do anything and everything, that He can even become a human being, if God becomes a human being, He ceases to be God. Because God and human beings have got different qualities. Almighty God, He is immortal. Human beings are mortal. You can't have a person who is immortal and mortal at the same time. God has got no beginning. Human beings have a beginning. You can't have a person who has a beginning and no beginning at the same time. Almighty God has got no end. Human beings have an end. You can't have a person who has an end and no end at the same time. It's meaningless. So either you can have God or you can have man. You can't have a God man. It doesn't make sense. Human beings, we require to eat. Almighty God does not require to eat. Allah says in Surah Anam chapter 6 verse number 14, Almighty God feeds everyone but does not require to be fed. We human beings require rest and sleep. Almighty God does not require rest. If I agree with you for sake of argument, Almighty God can do anything and everything. In that same argument, Almighty God can even tell a lie. It is ungodly to tell a lie. The moment God tells a lie, it is to be God. If I agree with you, God can do everything. God Almighty can even be unjust. But the moment God does injustice, he ceases to be God. Allah says in the Quran, Surah Nisa, chapter number 4, verse 40, that Almighty God is never unjust in the least degree. If Almighty God wants, he can forget. But to forget is ungodly. Allah says in Surah Taha, chapter 20, verse 52, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala never forgets. The moment Almighty God forgets, he ceases to be God. If Almighty God wants, He can make a mistake. But to make a mistake is ungodly. Allah says in Surah Taha, chapter 20, verse 52, that Almighty God never makes a mistake. The moment God makes a mistake, it's easy to be God. Nowhere in the Quran it is mentioned that God can do everything. What Allah says in the Quran in Surah Fatir, chapter 35, verse number 1, is, Inna Laha la qadir, That verily, Allah has power over all things. It's mentioned in several places. In Surah Baqarah, chapter number 2, verse number 106. In Surah Baqarah, chapter number 2, verse number 109. In Surah Baqarah, chapter number 2, verse number 284. In Surah Al Imran, chapter number 3, verse 29. In Surah Nahal, chapter 16, verse 77. In Surah Fatir, chapter 35, verse number 1, Allah says, Inna Laha la qadir, For verily, Allah has power over all things. Allah says in Surah Buruj, chapter number 85, verse number 16, that Allah is the doer of all he intends. Whatever he intends, he can do. But Almighty God will never intend telling a lie, will never intend making a mistake, he will never intend becoming a human being, he will only intend things which are godly. Hope that answers the question. Next.